I'm in Windows 10 and what I want to do is I want to map a network drive letter because that drive letter is a little bit easier for me to get to than going through the network and then browsing to the server. So I can start by clicking on network if I'd like and you see that network discovery is turned off. So click OK and you'll see this yellow bar at the top. I'll click on that and choose turn on network discovery and file sharing. Then if I'm not an administrator, I need to put in my administrator credentials at this time. Okay, I've entered my credentials and now it's turning that on and now we're going to see all the different network servers and anything that has basically a shared resource on it. I'm going to choose DC1 because this is not only my domain controller but also my file server, but yours obviously is going to be different. And I'm going to double click on it. And when I do, I see a lot of different shared folders. Let's say I want to get this particular shared folder, admin1. I want that one to be my shared folder. Now, I don't have anything in it, but that's OK. I still want to make this my shared folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the address bar at the top, and we see it changes the path into what's called a UNC path, Universal Naming Convention path, which starts with backslash backslash the name of the server, backslash the name of the share. So I'm going to right click on that and choose copy. Now I'm going to go back to where it says this PC. And at the top it says computer. It says file computer in view. I'm going to click on computer and choose map network drive. Now I can choose the drive letter. The drive letter really doesn't matter. Uh, it's only going to choose drive letters that are not currently being used. So I'll just go ahead and choose randomly the S drive, for instance. And you can see under the example, this is the, uh, the uh, syntax we need to put in. So I'm going to paste in what I copied earlier, and we can see it matches that UNC path syntax. And also, if I want it to be there next time I sign in, maybe after I reboot, then I want to make sure the box here is checked for reconnect at sign in. And I'll click Finish. And now it's my S drive. I'll just go back to the, this PC, and we can see it shows up under Network Locations and S drive. So that's how you map a network drive and from a shared folder on a server in Microsoft Windows 10.